first of all, the president inherited chaos. We've had decades of really poor foreign policy, not thinking about what's going on with China, uh, basic, basically intervening just about everywhere. And the pres president said, stop, we're going to actually do something more like out of Eisenhower's playbook. We're going to husband our resources. We're going to strengthen the economy. We're going to work on the industrial base. We're going to get prepared for this economic and technological competition with the Chinese. And we're going to stop being everywhere, except the national security establishment said, no, we want to be everywhere. Have they not opposed him almost every, every step, step of the way, way? Every step of the way. I think uh, the threat of war around the world is greatly diminished with Bolton out of the White House. I think he had a naive point of view for the world that we should topple regimes everywhere and institute, you know, democratic governments and we would make the world perfect or remake the world in our image. And frankly, it just doesn't work that way. Well, I, I think that, you know, so back in 2014, we looked at what was going on with what was happening in China, everything that was going on with all these uh, interventionist um, wars that were going on across, and we realized that we needed to be focused on building the country, building our strength, and the president, it was, it was strange because 2016, he starts talking about investing in the country, building the strength, taking care of the American people, and it was everything that we had been looking at in the Pentagon. So he, he has this kind of sixth sense on where we need to go with the strategy, I have to say. I've seen the return of what I've called the four horsemen of the apocalypse, populism, I'll say nativism, not, nation, not nationalism, isolationism and protectionism. We did that before. It was uh, the period between World War I and World War II. It led to a Great Depression. It led to war. Okay, General, the Great Depression well, might so, be coming, I guess, if we don't put 100,000 more. Well, the, the Great Depression's here. It's been here. Actually, since 2001, when China entered the WTO, we lost 70,000, over 70,000 factories, 3.4 million manufacturing jobs. We can't even make circuit boards for F-35s. That's how, that's how poor our industrial base has become. When did that happen, General? When did China come under the WTO? Clinton 2001. Yeah, we got it. All right, guys, thank you very much.